Look, I'm not going to sugarcoat it for you. I know everybody has ups and downs in their life, but I was turning 40, for God's sake, and I was wondering where the last 20 years went to. I mean, I was losing my identity. I, I didn't even recognize myself when I looked in the mirror. I was overweight. The thyroid got turned into a couch potato. My relationship was on the rocks. My, my career was gone down to Swanee. And then one day, I just happened to be watching the Olympic Games, and I saw these guys running around the track, and I don't know what happened. But I wanted to get up and run after that. I saw Eamon Coughlin on the TV and I remembered that he'd run a sub four minute mile when he was 41 years of age. So I said, that's it. That's going to be my goal. There was a time when running a sub four minute mile was considered the holy grail of sports. The public fascination and global preoccupation with the event ended in May 1954 when Englishman Roger Bannister broke the elusive barrier. In February 1994, another barrier which was considered beyond man's limits was broken. Eamon broke the uh, four minute mile indoors, which was he's the first one to do that, but he also broke three minutes fifty seconds indoors, and then when he was over forty, he ran the first four minute mile of a man over forty. All incredible performances, and probably the greatest indoor runner in the history of the world. I ran my very first mile time trial on my 39th birthday in a very unimpressive 7 minutes and 41 seconds. So in one year, I would have to shave off 2 minutes and 42 seconds. Sounds pretty simple, right? <laughs> uh, you haven't got a chance, to be quite honest with you, right? And there's an old saying in athletics that it takes 10 years to prepare to run a sub four minute mile. I'd be prepared to uh, give you uh, a two week holiday in Rwanda or in the Congo if you beat it. It's a hell of an undertaking. I, if you break four minutes, that will be one of the great achievements, I think. There's no doubt about it. I think that if you run a mile under four minutes at the age of 40, that uh, we missed out on seeing uh, another El Galoog. I never realised that running was such a popular thing to do. I never realised that. When I started this race four years ago, there was less than a thousand, and we're going to start it now in about a minute's time with seven and a half thousand athletes, and thankfully it's a beautiful day in the park. Well, you can have anywhere from 40 to 40,000 people running in a race, and most of them are doing it for a worthy cause, so I decided to dedicate my run to something a little more noble than my midlife crisis. 365 days. Well done, I mean, I think you've put yourself under a huge sort of time pressure. You know, it takes a long time to develop a good miler. So that takes years. We're, we're trying to compress your, your training as much as possible to get as much performance as we can out of you in the time frame. As dedicated as you've been so far, I think you're going to have to take another step up. One of the highlights of this whole experience for me was meeting Olympian Maria McCambridge, who elevated my game to a whole new level. The idea that a non-athlete like myself gets to work with a world-class athlete like Maria McCambridge is just phenomenal. The best training session I ever did with them tonight, I stuck with them for one kilometer. I have a whole year to dedicate to this. One whole year. And every day I see an improvement. So yes, I am optimistic. And if I was a betting man, I'd give myself even odds right now. Go do it. And I look forward to being there on the track holding the stopwatch and looking at 56, 57, 58, 558. <laughs> Best of luck. <laughs> the day you do it, whether you break the sub four minute mile barrier or not, you'll still be 40. That's right. There's no getting away from that, is What there? are you going to do then?